welcome guys welcome welcome to the master class right so today we are going to discuss about the couple of important commands for linux okay as a software tester right this is very important that you should know the couple of linux command you know what i have almost like 11 or 12 years experience now and linux is something that you should know and anywhere where you want to basically use it right even as a manual tester an automation tester anywhere right? you will find there will be a chances where you have to basically work with some kind of commands commands can be moving the file from one folder to another finding a particular file transferring this file from this machine to another machine right or it can be anything copy a file you want to find a ip address of this machine right you want to spin up this machine you want to basically shut down this machine there can be a lot of different commands that are required for everyone should know so in this session we will cover some important commands that we should know this is going to be a kind of part one if you think that you need more information i will basically create a part two also so you don't have to note down i will share all the thing details with you i will share a mind map as well as the note you can watch the recording again and that will basically give you overall right the first command right first of all i have a machine linux machine right now with me right it's nothing but a ubuntu machine right it's a ubuntu bare minimum machine that i have basically started and i have started this machine from a docker it's a nothing but a docker container don't worry if you don't know what is docker and everything right we will basically understand docker also in upcoming lectures right but right now consider this right now i don't have any ui I have only the command prompt of only command prompt only terminal access of that Linux. So right now um I am on a Linux right I am logged in as a root user. Root basically means so Linux is basically a distribution system right you will find there are number of type of Linux are there. Which one is the most famous Linux distro that you know? Distro is basically used for distribution. The code of Linux was actually open source. So there are multiple companies multiple vendors they created their own version of the Linux. right ubuntu right ubuntu is something which is very very famous it is one of the famous you can say distro distro is there it's a very famous distro right now i have installed a uh, ubuntu latest version so right now if you see i think we have the latest version so latest version of ubuntu if i'm not wrong if you go to ubuntu right type ubuntu ubuntu.com right what you can do is if you can install ubuntu into your machine also but right now what i'm doing is i have installed it by using the docker container okay so you can download the ubuntu i think latest version of ubuntu i think 23 so 23.04 right if you see that this is the distro which is ubuntu 22.04 lts lts is basically a stable version right long term stable version which is there this is a open source project right so multiple companies which basically support this and they they are continuously adding the things right recommended recommendation if you see right why linux machines are basically used right linux machines are lightweight in nature so suppose you want to run your 5000 tens cases of selenium or api now what you will do will you install a windows 11 where it will take almost like 4 gb of your ram right suppose you have only 8 gb of ram into that machine so that windows 11 will take only 4 gb of ram and only 4 gb of ram will be available for the running your automation what do you think will you use a windows machine or a mac machine which is so costly to use it you will not use it right so linux systems are basically used for scalability purpose if you want to basically run your 5000 test cases you will use a linux based machine mostly if you want to basically deploy some code right you will use a linux based machine say linux system is something which is basically used widely because it's an open source right nobody has to pay a open source code is there less vulnerability and there will be a community support also based on that right if you think about windows machine then you have to take a license you have to purchase it from the microsoft you cannot use directly nowadays windows servers are available but they are charged if you want to use mac system that is again it's a two core mostly for a machine or a company to use mac machine as their servers that is not possible so company prefer to use linux based system and you should know the linux basics commands we are basically going with the ubuntu 22.07 or 4 you can install this into your machine how to install i think instruction you can find it on youtube you will download a ISO file you will burn it and you can install it into your any system apart from Mac if you have a MacBook Air or something you cannot install other than that if you have a normal laptop then you will be able to install Linux system also side by side or dual base system you can also use what i prefer to use it is by using the docker docker is nothing but you can say right now i'm using this this is a only known ui part there is no ui installed into this linux based linux machine that i am right now using you will see this machine no ui only terminal access only terminal access i have and i can run my command into this system there is no ui in this system this is a ubuntu latest version 2.22.04 you won't find anything 
so the first command that you will see is you name right you name basically says that what is your name right what is your name linux it is telling you my name is linux only you can do you name minus a also if you want to do so it will give you a exactly the name i am a linux based system this is my name random name i have basically this kit installed right i was basically created on tuesday 30th of september right 22 I am basically a 64 bit system and it is telling you I am a GNU Linux basically means that I am basically a general purpose open source Linux system right now. It will not tell you I am Ubuntu. Okay. It will not tell you. It will just generally tell you like this, this in kind of information. Okay. You can basically use to find the command, which is basically which type of bit I have. So I have a 64 bit system that which is installed into this. How to install this into this? I think see how to install Linux. If you have these kind of questions, right? Trust me, there are number of good tutorials available on the YouTube, which can basically tell you how to install this, right? But how I have installed is very simple. I have downloaded Docker, right? So I have installed Docker into my machine and I have just downloaded a Ubuntu machine. That's it. If you see, this is a Ubuntu version, right? And it is running right now. That's it. And I have only access to this. I will tell you, don't worry when we are covering in the upcoming section Docker, right? I will tell you how to run all the services. You can run your Ubuntu system. You can run your Selenium grid. You will find there are a lot of images available into this, right? You will see I have basically used Selenoid. I have used Chrome. I can run a Selenium grid also. I have run Jenkins also. So how to run all the thing in the Docker, we will have in upcoming lectures. Clear? Right now I'm running into a Mac. This is a Mac, which basically is right now running a small Linux based container. Consider like this, it is box within a box. So in the Mac, I'm running a small Linux system, which I have access to this. Clear? You can run it in Windows also. Same process you have to follow, right? That is the same process. So right now I have an access to this machine, right? So first command we have have seen which is you name minus a you name basically means telling asking your name minus a which is there right second command is clear if you want to clear something right what is the command of clear in case of windows windows is cls okay but if you want to clear something from this you can use clr in linux based system it is always clr the next command is basically ls which is listing everything so i have in this directory i am right now into a directory if you want to find what is the current directory what is the current directory i am right now you can type pwd it will tell you you are basically into a root folder in the root folder there is a folder name p so you are right now at this folder so pwd command basically works into the windows also if you go to cmd and type pwd command you will find that what is the folder that right now you guys are working on see pw basically talks about what is the current working directory right so if you go it, it basically prints the current working directory and the second command we are clear which is ls ls is basically used for listing in this folder what exactly is present right so ls it is showing you there is a zip file which is present there is a file.txt is present this is a sort sort me.txt is present right but suppose you want to see okay i want to see hidden files also so you will use ls minus a which is hidden file also so it will tell you there is there is no hidden file as of now Okay, right now, but if there is a, any header find present by using the minus a, you will see that. So two commands, PW will basically use for the print, print, the, uh, print the current directory. LS is basically used for the listing the current uh, content in this guide. Next command we can use is, which is called as MKDIR. What is it? Make directory. You can basically create a directory also. So if I want to create a new folder within B, so I'm creating a new I'm just naming this new folder. I'm creating a new folder right now. MKDIR. If I do LS, you will see a new folder is also created, right? And if I want to change this directory, I will use new folder, CD, new folder, right? So right now I am into this folder. It is telling you that you are right now into this folder only. CD is basically used for the change directory. But again, Pramod, I want to go back to B. Then you have to use CD dot dot you will go back to B in this case. Clear? Now, if you do LS, you will find that we are outside the new folder. Same command works in the windows also. Chain directory CD also works in this case, right? So if I want to go ahead, if I want to go into the folder, I have to type CD, just type N and ta hit tab, tab, it will auto complete and chain directory. Go to a new folder. If you want to go to a new folder. Okay. In case of new folder, if we want to do it, what we used to do, we have to double click onto this button, right? Yes. New folder. 
for example suppose uh, right now i have created a new folder like this so this is a new folder that i have created in case of ui what i have to do i have to double click into this then i am basically will be into this so rather than using this you can use cd command also to basically move out now if you want to do go back then there is a back option to go back right if you want to go back then through command line you can do by using cd dot dot so you can go back also all right now another thing is that okay let me clear this all right now you can also create some 